on the substitutes bench. Kevin Horlock was drafted into the side to line up alongside Mark Robinson as makeshift central defenders. We joined Jed Pittman in the first half. Bowden to Horlock, sitting out Allison. Might fall for Thorne inadvertently. Allison again. It was Hobson who put in the important challenge. And eventually, well, I was going to say Hollow got it clear, but they haven't. Here's Allen. And will, uh, in fact, concede the goal kick in the end. Well won by Horlock. Here's Gooden. A good effort from Ty Gooden and a fine save too from Roy Carroll in the Hull City goal. And Ty Gooden likes to shoot, as we've seen so often from him, with that powerful left foot. And the goalkeeper knows all about it already. This is Thorne. Leaves it to Allen. The mistake is letting Gooden here. Another good chance. And he only somewhat wasted it, this time with his right boot. Peacock, good looking ball too, and well, Digby had to just tip it away from Fewings, whose chances this afternoon are Fewings and far between. Allen, Ling with a good run. Hobson, a busy defender. Allen, Ling, patient build up by Swindon. It's the way they like to play. It's Grant to Horlock. Now Horlock might try a shot and does, always though rising. Horlock, Allison. He's got Gooden on the overlap and finds him now. And Gooden does well, gets past the defender with relative ease, and that's another good save from Carroll because Allison was just waiting for it. And he just got his fingertips to the ball to clear it. Still, though, the danger's not over. Here's Allen. Robinson waiting for it. Lingno goes inside. And now Grant. And somewhat wasted. And the on loan player from Everton. Grant. Allison. Back to Grant again in the corner. And Swindon continue to dominate the game. Here's Ty Gooden. Good effort from Gooden and a brilliant save this time from Carroll. Well, he's been in his best in his first half. Awful defending as the keeper was left exposed. And Gooden, well, he turned thinking that in fact he'd scored. Only to be denied by the excellence of the Hull City goalkeeper. Robinson just ahead of him. He's going to cut inside and find Horlock. Now Bowden, Gooden's made a good run and a perfect ball from Bowden will find him. Gooden, and here's Thorne, 1-0. And Swindon Town finally break the deadlock in the second minute of the second half. And how they've deserved it after scintillating display so far. Thorne with the easy job in the end, but all the work done up in the build-up. And Gooden's ball was absolutely perfect. is Peacock and a good effort too and Digman must have seen it quite late in the end Allison to Bowden looking for a repeat goal from the first one and Thorne in the end just can't get there as Hobson clears it Thorne can hardly believe it and the goalkeeper well he's all over the place here and in the end possibly just grabbed Thorne's legs and reasonable claims for a penalty Grant, Gooden, you can guess he's going to shoot from that kind of distance. Just fuelings. A good challenge from Culverhouse, he thinks it should in fact be a throw his way. Instead, Peacock will take it. 
Still in this game, a hull. Good challenge from Grant. And again, Allison. Grant's continued his run, and here's Grant playing through. 2 0. The goalkeeper's gone on holiday there, but a quality finish, even still, from Grant. After winning two challenges, first of all, he then continued his run. Allison's vision was perfect, the goalkeeper certainly wasn't. And an excellent finish, putting Swindon Town surely in control and surely on their way to three points. And that finish, capping a quality display this afternoon from the Evertonian. Allison well, does well, he's got away from Hobson with ease here. Great chance possibly here for Allison. Oh dear. Well, he didn't know quite whether to shoot or to pass it in the end. He's got past everybody. He falls for Davison. A rare chance. The defenders caught out and caught napping for once. The former Derby and Leeds player off target. Have a wonderful afternoon as Paul Allen has been booked, which will be costly. A couple of match suspension for him. He's really enjoyed himself out on the right. He's going to get it again from Martin Ling to Robinson to Ling. And Ling, well, he missed a couple of good chances last week. He won't come much better than this one either. Just hurried it over the top of the crossbar. Oh, and making the run again. And surely having his, well, almost having his shorts pulled off in the end. No free kick, just a corner. Allison, 3 0. And Swindon Town wrap up the points for certain now. Allison with the header. Warlock possibly just getting a little touch on it. The goalkeeper was nowhere near it once more, and no one on the post either defending. Allison certainly winning the header behind the ref, and yes, Horlock will claim the goal with a deft little glance. Points are well deserved. Yeah, um, a bit apprehensive after the first half. We played brilliant and uh, we did everything but score. But luckily for us, you know, we come out the second half, and once we got the early goal, you know, there was no doubt in the winner today. You're impressed by the way Swindon played, or is it yeah. what you expected? Well, I didn't expect them to play left football. I was thinking, man, not going to play a long ball game. And uh, he did play left football. And if you can't get it off, you're not going to score. So, two straight 3 0 wins at home against, uh, albeit a couple of the weaker sides, but things looking good again. Yeah, things are looking good. As long as we keep playing football and uh, go forward at the right times, um, I think we'll beat anyone, especially at home. Um, away from home, we've got to be a little bit more resolute at the back, uh, not give anything away. If we keep clean sheets, you know, we think we're going to go on to beat uh, most teams.